Hubble Telescope, one of NASA's longest running and most productive science missions that has returned hundreds of thousands of photographs to the planet, just found a mysterious structure around the elliptical galaxy twice bigger than Milky Way in space. How long has the Hubble Telescope been doing this great work? What is this mysterious structure that has just been found? What are astronomers saying about the mysterious structure? Stay tuned as we go into details. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Beyond Unknown, where we tell you all the latest news in the scientific world. Stay tuned until the end, so you don't miss out on any information. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell icon. You won't want to miss any of our incredible videos. And it begins. Hubble Telescope Hubble Space Telescope has been dazzling the globe with space views and a fuller understanding of how the universe functions since its launch in 1990. For many years now, the Hubble Telescope has consistently outperformed many of the world's most sophisticated ground-based telescopes. The Hubble Telescope is regarded as the best optical and ultraviolet telescope in the world, with demand for its use for research consistently exceeding its available time each year. The Hubble Telescope is capable of traveling at the speed of 17,500 miles per hour, and it has already traveled as far as Neptune, the furthest planet in our solar system. Over a million observations have been made since it began operation in 1990. The Hubble Telescope sees a mysterious structure. Due to Hubble's groundbreaking findings, nearly all areas of astronomy and astrophysics have undergone revolutionary change. Hubble discovered the first supermassive black hole in the center of a nearby galaxy. Hubble has also made the most profound observations of the evolving universe. It has discovered planet-forming disks around nearby stars, chemically probed the atmospheres of exoplanets, and revealed evidence of an evolving universe that may be accelerated by an unidentified energy source in the fabric of space. Recently, a massive galaxy that is more than twice the size of the Milky Way has been seen in a striking new way thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope. Known as NGC 474, the elliptical galaxy is around 100 million light-years from Earth. The Hubble Telescope obtained a close-up image of the galaxy's central region, demonstrating its vast size. NGC 474 is around 250,000 light-years across, making it 2.5 times more significant than our galaxy Milky Way. NGC 474 size is not its sole distinctive quality, though, claims a NASA statement that published the new image on May 18. Recent Hubble images demonstrate that several intricately stacked shells as Nebulae 44 surround the spherical center of NGC 474. Astronomers have said that the presence of Nebula 44 may be the result of a galactic merger when the NGC 474 absorbed one or smaller galaxies. The Mysterious Nebula 44 The complex nebula N44 is home to numerous populations of stars of various ages, huge stars, dark lanes of dust, and blazing hydrogen gas. From the upper middle part of Hubble Space Telescope image, there is a dark, starry gap known as Superbubble, which is one of the object's most recognizable characteristics of N44. The hole in the N44 is around 250 light-years wide, and it's still not entirely clear why it's there. The gas may have been blown away by stellar winds produced by powerful stars inside the bubble. However, this theory conflicts with the bubble's measured wind velocities. Another idea is that the cosmic tunnel was shaped by the expanding shells of past supernovae since the nebula is full of enormous stars that would die in colossal explosions. However, one remnant of a supernova has been discovered close to the superbubble, and stars inside and outside of it have ages that varied by about 5 million years, indicating many chain reaction star-forming processes. One of the hottest parts of the nebula and the site of the most active star creation is the deep blue region around the superbubble at about 5 o'clock. N44 is an emission nebula, which indicates that the radiation from neighboring stars has ionized or electrified the gas within it. The nebula glows as the ionized gas releases energy in the form of light as it transitions from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. N44, a star roughly 1,000 light-years across and 170,000 light-years from Earth, is part of the large Magellanic Cloud. New study from 3D Map Picture revealed the structure that is creating new regions around Superbubble. Superbubble is one of the main characteristics of Nebula 44. The highest resolution 3D picture of the galaxy reveals a structure that is generating new regions of star formation in the molecular gas clouds around the Milky Way. The name of the forming structure is the Perseus Taurus shell. It can also be referred to as the Pertau shell, which is currently an active star forming area and is an interstellar superbubble formed 22 million years ago by the blast waves of numerous supernovae. 
the iconic Perseus and Taurus molecular clouds were created due to the blast waves driving into interstellar gas and stacking it up alongside the superbubble's edge. A team from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, led by Catherine Zucker and Shmuel Bialy, discovered the mystery structure. They made use of a 3D map of interstellar dust with historically low 3.26 light-year resolution, which was down to one parsec. Molecular clouds are shown on the map up to 400 parsecs from the Sun. Rymar Like, a team member from the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics, created this using information from the Gaia Astrometric Mission of the European Space Agency. The general structure of giant molecular clouds revealed in the Harvard-Smithsonian Center Team 3D map shows lower density outside envelopes and higher density inner layers. According to their theory, the transition between the atomic neutral gas in the outer envelope and the cold molecular gas needed to produce stars in the inner zone is represented by the boundary between these two areas within the cloud. According to a team led by Zucker and Alves of the University of Vienna and the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study at Harvard University, per tau shell is only a part of the bigger structure. The bigger structure is called the Radcliffe wave. Zucker and Wow maintained that Radcliffe wave contains about 3 million solar masses of gas and dust. It is so large that it is undulating in time with the sinusoidal perturbations of the Milky Way spiral disk, an effect that could be caused by interactions with dwarf galaxy satellites or large clumps of dark matter. Zucker also emphasized that the Radcliffe wave is a dense feature of the local arm of the Milky Way, and its discovery has overturned the prevailing theory that the high density of the star-forming nebulae that we see in the night sky was part of a ring-like structure called the Gould Belt. However, the Harvard-Smithsonian Center Team's 3D map analysis stated that while the 3D map charts show dozens of molecular clouds in the Sun's neighborhood, the per tau shell proved to be the most interesting of all. The per tau shell has an identical spherical structure of 508 light-years in diameter. The 3D map indicates that the Taurus molecular cloud is located on the side of the shell that is nearest to the Sun, 400 light-years away, while the Perseus molecular cloud is located on the far side of the shell. The low-resolution illusion reinstated that the results from the 3D map support the idea that the Gould Belt is an illusion caused by previously low-resolution data. The low-resolution illusion shows astronomers that many of the local molecular clouds are part of the Radcliffe wave and that the supernovae that gave birth to the per tau shell would originally have formed in an older star-forming nebula that is within the Radcliffe wave. Scientist Zucker emphasized that it's not a coincidence that the per tau shell formed inside the Radcliffe wave. He further stated that it speaks to the idea that star formation is mediated by physical processes that occur on vastly different scales. Research from astronomers had previously suggested that supernovae may cause rapid development of molecular clouds, but this is the first time the procedure has been observed taking place in three dimensions. As a result, this 3D depiction of the nearby molecular gas clouds will enable researchers to contrast real clouds with those produced by computer models. These comparisons will help us understand how molecular clouds develop, how stars develop, and why some molecular clouds are better at making some more massive stars than others. On a final note, understanding the density structure of molecular clouds in 3D will help us to place constraints on the large-scale dynamical processes of the gas within clouds that will form the seeds of star formation, as stated by Michael Foley, one of the Harvard team members consisting. Now, astronomers can be able to understand how particular structures within star-forming Nebula 44, such as clumps and filaments, form, and how they can feed into the process of star formation by comparing the outcomes from this 3D map with simulations or the available theoretical predictions. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button, and don't forget to let us know if you have any questions or comments. If you do, please share them with us in the comment section below, as we would be happy to address them in our following videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our videos. We appreciate your time. Once again, guys, enjoy your day. See you again next time. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.